Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. So we are learning about the template driven forms in the Angular, right? So far we have covered most of the concepts in the template driven forms. I think I have given all the information from the template driven form. Now, another thing what I want to give you is, so the imp uh, not the important thing, how to get the data okay so up to now we have seen manipulations validations and all those things we have seen in the template driven forms but up to now we didn't get the data and we didn't show the form data in the output so let's try to do that simple things i think you already understood the how to get the data just we try to do the simple thing and also we will try to reset the form okay so after submitting the form i want to reset the complete form how we can reset the form so let's see so here i am having the total total uh, form right so when they click on submit i need to capture all the data so what i will try to do is first i will take submitted so when the submitted is when the form is submitted i will make this one as true and what i can do is i will take one uh, user object so that in this one username i will be having and email i will be having and also gender i will be having and the about i will be having so i will i want to take all the each and value of the form data and i want to disp i want to pop i want to uh, assign it to this user object so here if i want to assign it to the user object i need to do the here in the form submit when the user clicks on the button i need to do this one so what i can do is here form submit so first one is this dot submitted is equal to true i will make that this dot submitted is equal to true so that means form has been submitted so i made this one true now what i can do is this dot user dot username okay i want to highlight i want to populate the username username is nothing but so this day this data so this one i want to take so how can i take that one so I can take this dot sign up form dot value. So we need to take dot value dot in that user data we have. Why? Because it is a group. It is in the ng model group. So now I can take that user data. Sorry, we need to take this one friend and we need to add it here. Sorry. So user data dot value. So we got the this dot sign up form dot value. Sorry, 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 sorry. I do I, I, I lot value dot user data dot username okay so this is the way how we can get the data so this dot sign up form dot value so value means the value object in that value object you have the user data and you have the username so i am a little bit confused so uh, so we will be having that ng form object right in that ng form object we have the value object so up to value object is this one so in that value object in that user data username so in the same scenario if you want to take the email i can take this email so we these both are in the user data now if i want to take the gender i can take i can remove this one and i can add the gender here okay if you want to take the about i can take this about and i can add it about so these both are outside this one this both are just ng model only so this is these are the things i took so what i will try to do is i will try to add it here so down if i go here so when in the due i will try to add h3 uh, something like your data or uh, whatever the data so here is your data and here i will add one due so here i will show the user so this is nothing but user dot username okay in the same scenario we will be having the email user dot email you will be having that user dot email and we'll be showing the gender user dot gender and last one is about so we'll be showing the about when we need to show this data so when the user is submitted only we have already kept the condition that is the reason i kept the submitted variable so when the user is submitted only we can show we need to show the data now if i go here and if i add the data whatever the data i want okay now a female or male i will use so about if i write anything and if i click on our so here you will be able to get the user data see so in this way we can get the form data entire form data from the template driven form so just i didn't show you up to know this one how to get the form data right so this is the how we can get the entire form data so this is the way we can access the each element like this okay so that is the reason i have written each and every element like this this does sign up form dot value dot user data dot username now if you see here so this is the form right fine so i clicked on submit i got the data but the data is still showing it here how can you reset this form 
so we can use something like set value and you can take each value and you will be keeping it to empty you can do that way also but we have another easy simple method useful method that one is nothing but this dot sign up form dot reset you will be having a method reset okay now if you see here if i go let it refresh after refreshing the form now what i will be doing is so i will write whatever the data i want email and here i can write the data and if i click on submit i got the data and you see the data is everything is refreshed it's resetted okay so this is the way this is the way how we can get the data and how we can reset the data in the template driven forms so i think these are all the concepts that are in the template driven forms i hope i have covered all the concepts in the template driven forms so in the next video we will try uh, we will learn about the react to uh, react to forms how to uh, do the reactive forms you'll see this is all about the template driven forms so you can practice this template driven forms and you can do the validations and all those things you can do with using this uh, template driven forms hope you understand this uh, concept of template driven forms if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you